Okay, frame assembly is done. Now, for the record, this is the H600 from Hobby King. It looks a whole lot like a QAV500. Um, it comes with 450 arms. Now, I ordered uh, RCT 800 arms from RC Timer. They're RC Timer 800 arms, basically. They're about three or four inches longer. This is 600 millimeters from center hole to center hole. Uh, these were extra arms I had downstairs for my uh, discovery. The original arms are still in the bag, so I'll put them with my Discovery Pro probably when I sell the frame. Um, like I said before, the card that came with it actually lists this as a QAV 600. Um, the red metal post, in between the two sets of frames you build, it originally comes with short red metal post. Um, the QAV has orangish, yellowish isolation dampeners on it. Uh, Hobby King had these for, there was five of them in a pack and I think it was like five bucks, something like that, six. I got them, I didn't, you know, they're, they're flexible. Um, I wasn't for sure if they were as good as the, and I'm sure they're not, QAV 500s, but I figured I'd give them a shot. If you get these... The original holes that are in this frame are slightly too small. And I mean just slightly. You can almost thread this in. I took a 5 30 seconds bit and just just went through it real quick with the bit. And these fit I mean they they fit in snug and tight. It was just they slide in, but you know, it wouldn't slop. So the whole thing is assembled with of course thread lock. Um for build notes, and I don't know if a QAV is like this or not, because the bottom deck down here is underneath this frame, there are four bolts on top of every arm. You can see the whole pattern here. Well, if you assemble both frames and put the isolation dampeners in, you can't get to that fourth hole, which is what I did, as you can see, which is no big deal. I wasn't going to take it apart for this because I wanted to get the video shot for those that asked me to show them a build video. But when I put the RC timer arms on, I'll take the nuts off and pull the top deck off and put it on correctly. But uh, that's basically it. I mean, it is big. I, I really do think it might be just a little bit bigger than a QAV. Um, a buddy of mine had a QAV, and I don't remember his being that long. I think this one's a little longer. I know it's not that tall because the QAV has the short arms. The aluminum ones are now they do G10. So these are not as tall. <clears throat> I kind of like that. It gives me room. A lot of room to do something on that bottom deck. Because I run two 4S 5800s on my TBS Discovery. And I have one in here. And I have one mounted under the frame, so I actually have a battery under the frame. And to keep it off the ground, I actually have hel I have a, a line 600 helicopter skids mounted to the uh, Discovery. So I'm going to start ripping the electronics out of my Discovery tomorrow, and probably start trying to figure out how I'm going to put my ESCs and everything in here. Now, of course, this being a copy, it doesn't have the power grip distribution. I actually thought about ordering the QAV500 power distribution board, the bottom board. It's $30. Uh, if the hole patterns would match up, that would give you a way to, you know, get everything in there and make it look really nice. I have a power, I have a little square power distribution for everything to go into. I'll put it in the middle, put the SCs on it. It's no big deal. So, thank you for watching. I'll be back.